Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time. I am Mama Make You Up, a mummy of twins who loves to paint my face. Welcome to my humble abode. Today I first actually attempted to do a five minute makeup tutorial for a Valentine's Day look and I literally got to the point where I was about to do my brows, my eyes, and everything else, and the timer went off. So I wiped it all off and I started again and set a more realistic expectation, I guess, for today of a 10 minute makeup look. One thing I'll note about today's video, it is a bit different. I'm also actually going to go through what I used right now because if you are kind of getting ready to do your makeup really quickly, obviously it's handy to have everything out and ready to go. So I started with my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I went in with my foundation, so any foundation that you feel really good about, that is definitely my favorite. Concealing with my NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer for setting my face, of course. As always, I went in with a setting powder, so have that handy. Always, of course, amidst all this, have your beauty blender or your foundation brush ready to go. And, of course, my usual bronzing brush plus my butter bronzer for today. Instead of doing a blush and a highlight, as you'll see me talk about, I actually just killed two birds with one stone and did the um, illuminating palette from wet and wild so as you can tell it has some gold and some rosy colors here and then obviously highlight colors over there for brows i didn't do a full-on brow look today of course this is the gimme brow from benefit cosmetics so this just helps give your brows a bit more shape and a bit of color to them if they kind of fade into your face which mine do for the palette that i use mainly today you can absolutely even stick within this palette that's no problem i went in with my 35 5B Morphe palette. So this rainbow colored palette. I used a lot of these peachy and pink shades here today. Um, that's pretty much what I stuck to. And then on my lid though today, I actually have an individual shadow from Anastasia Beverly, this peachy color here. Peachy color it is called Gem. So that is what I have on my lid. As always, of course, I had Fix Plus handy to set my face and to use on my brush to put the lid color on today. What I'll be doing for the sake of saving time is not holding up my palette, my Morphe palette, every time I change shade. I will actually just put a picture up here and put an X or something over top of the color that I'm using so that you can follow along with mascara. So any mascara that you have, of course, is great. I use the Butterfly Intenza from L'Oreal. My lip color, um, I did not line my lips today because again, under a time crunch, but I use the 0 .0 um, Color Pop Ultra satin lip I believe it's a Kathleen lights edition and it's just a gorgeous kind of grayish brown color that basically goes with any eye look and after that I set my face and then we were done so if this is a look that you think you would like to try out for fun try to put yourself under the pressure then let's get to it and let's have some fun 10 minutes on my phone ready set go so I'm starting with primer and I'm already throwing shit around. And of course I'm almost out of this primer. It's my e.l.f. primer. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation with a damp beauty sponge. Most of this makeup look is going to be getting the base, I guess, of your face applied. <clears throat> That's the part that sometimes takes the most time. The beauty blender is not time efficient, but I can't sacrifice what my foundation looks like for time. But if you're using a brush and that takes you less time, then go for it. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going in with some NARS concealer. Nothing too crazy since we are going for more of an everyday, I guess, Valentine's Day look. Something that you can quickly do when you get home. Damp Beauty Blender again. Blending all that in. My arm is already sore from my workout class that I did this morning. <laughs> I 
I actually tried to film a five minute makeup video a minute ago. Now setting powder, our CMA and my beauty sponge and I literally just finished putting on bronzer and highlight and the timer went off. And I said to myself, I can't do this. I can't do five minutes, it's too hard. So I adjusted my expectations, which is okay. It's important to do that sometimes. Now under eye. <clears throat> and setting that on my eye. And after this, close that up and go in with my Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula just to warm up the skin. We're not going to do any contouring of the nose or anything like that because that will just take up time. So warming up the skin here. Instead of blush and highlight today, we are going to go in with just a highlight. And I can't find my usual highlighting brush, so we're going to use my blush brush. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Illuminating Palette, so it's got nice rosy colors in it, gold colors, and some highlight. So <laughs> this is good. I had leftover foundation and now I have some extra on my forehead, which I think I forgot to set with setting powder. <laughs> so instead of doing a blush and a highlight, you can kill two birds with one stone. And I'm going to go in because I know I forgot to do my forehead. See how much time we're at. I have six minutes and 15 minutes, seconds left. I feel like the timer was totally wrong the last time I ran it. I was about to do my brows. I'm using my Gimme Brow by Benefit Cosmetics. We definitely do not have time to go in and formally fill in the brows, but again, you could use 10 minutes to focus on that if you wanted to. I'm just using this to give my brows a little bit of definition and some color. And luckily I just got them threaded so they always kind of come together better after something like that. Now that we are done this part, we are going to go right into the 35B palette, which you will see me mark right up here with the colors. I'm going in to set my lid with a white color and a little bit of this peach, not, or sorry, beige color that's right below it. And we're going all over the lid with my big fluffy 441 brush from Morphe. And after that, we are going to go in with this light pink color at the top. And that is going to be our transition shade. I'm going for a peachy, peachy pink look today. And that is one of my twins waking up way too early. Come on girl, go back to sleep. So still going in with my big fluffy brush. And just using that as a transition shade. After that I'm going in with my Morphe 433 and I'm going to dip in to this really pretty peachy color that is in the 35B. And this we are going to use, of course, my tapered blending brush to just get it right in the crease of my eye. And just blending that back and forth. Three and a half minutes left. Oh boy! Oh boy! Doo, doo, doo. 
Okay, now that we have that done, I'm going to go actually in with a little bit of the peach and the pink mixed together. So the transition shade and my crease shade both mixed together. I'll mark that above here as well. And now we are going on to the lid color. So I'm going to spray my brush, just a flat brush with Fix Plus, and I'm going in with a pretty Anastasia Beverly color. It's probably hard to see in the lighting now as I have fading daylight, but it's uh, it shows up with a bit of a nice shine to it. And spray again. I think I overdosed on the Fix Plus, but we'll make do. Okay. And now that we're done with that, we're going to go inner corner highlight and I'm going to go in with Pink Champagne from Anastasia Beverly. And you could use Fix Plus if you want on here. This is more of a pink tone, but I just thought we'd make the inner color, inner corner pop a little bit. And for the bottom lash line, we are just gonna go in with that peachy color from the 35B, brush off the excess, and go in with my tapered blending brush. And drag that underneath all the way in. One minute and 15 seconds. I almost forgot about mascara, I should get to it. Going to go in with a more defined brush. This definitely has a different effect to it with putting peach on your under eye. Going in with mascara quickly here. My Butterfly Intenza. It's going to annoy me just because I have 10 minutes, of course. We're done. Oh no! All right, I stopped the timer. Finish off with point zero. All right, everyone, so that is our final look for today. I do apologize that I went outside of the 10 minutes. It is a major time crunch but I had fun doing it and uh, hopefully you like this look. Obviously you can spend different amounts of time on whatever parts of your face that you feel like you wanna dedicate more time to essentially for a look. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful and colorful day. We'll see you later.